I got into it uh, under pressure from my wife. I went to a pony club event, but I was told that the commentator hadn't turned up and I was doing the commentary. I actually volunteered to start commentating. Mm. I uh, wasn't very good at riding. I thought I'd better find something else to do. The thing that I love about it is that you're at the very heart of the action and you really feel as if you're helping everybody else to enjoy it. When you're um, at an event and the fog's down and you can't actually see anything to commentate on, so you, all you've got is your, your earpiece and you're commentating on cross country, for instance, you can't actually see where there are and you're trying to invent what's going on from the fence judges and they're not giving you very much information, that's probably the worst thing, the hardest thing. Richard makes the most noise without a shadow of a doubt. There's times when I think, where's the volume control? <laughs> he forgets that he has a microphone and a tannoy <laughs> system and he needs to just talk uh, gently into it. It's just too exciting. It's too exciting. You get, you get terribly carried away and when the competition's reaching a bit of a crescendo, you know, you really get sort of into it and it's very exciting, so sorry about that. He's in charge. No. <laughs> It's not a, a kind of I'm in charge and you're not, it's just a, a natural working out of respect for each other so we'll bounce yeah. off each other yeah. and, and that again, it's teamwork, it's what it's all about. I think it's absolutely wide open this year with Avery not here to defend his title. Um, there's a lot of um, top riders or we've only got single, single mounts. Um, there's a lot of up and coming riders with up and coming horses and I haven't got a clue. A new course, new direction, new questions, new challenges, never been jumped before by any of them, wide open. Ask us on Sunday night.